Today, a top IRS official was set to be grilled by a congressional oversight committee on the scandal saying that the agency unfairly targeted conservative groups seeking tax-exempt status. Now, that was supposed to happen, but the IRS official Lois Lerner pleaded the fifth, refusing to answer any of their questions and walking out of the hearing. The IRS rules or regulations, and I have not provided false information to this or any other congressional committee. And while I would very much like to answer the committee's questions today, I've been advised by my counsel to assert my constitutional right not to testify or answer questions related to the subject matter of this hearing. And then she walked out. Here to shed a little bit more light on the Fifth Amendment and if this official was within her rights to take it is attorney Jay Davis. Jay, thanks so much for being here. This thanks, is a big Andrew. issue. Oh, now, she yeah. initially defended herself and yeah. started making nice her case. Then way. she pleaded the fifth. Can she even do that? Well, the, uh, the fifth is designed for if you are, if something you say would tend to incriminate you, that you might need to plead the fifth. I'm a, I'm a strong advocate one of, of the, the fifth big, amendment. One yeah. of the big questions raised by Representative Trey Gowdy of South Carolina was that she started making her case and then she decided to walk out. You, know? you do and have they, the right at any time. That. Yeah, you've got the right at any time to assert a Fifth Amendment, but, it's, but you got to remember that it's based on something that tends to incriminate you. And if you've got something, somebody who's in a position of this much authority and whatever information that they're charged with, I mean, with that authority, and they can't divulge it because it will tend to incriminate you, you got to be a little bit concerned. So at this point, is it pretty obvious then that she had something to do with this IRS targeting conservative Well, somebody either needs to say, the fifth? somebody's going to have, well, the fact that she's pleading the fifth indicates that she's thwarting. What's probably more than likely the case is somebody upper line doesn't want this to get any further. So they've given her an out so they can squash it with her. So she's the sort falling out. Kind somebody of. else can fall on their sword, a little Benghazi, a little bit of the, the same thing that this has been going on. Well, for I want to talk about this because for one day, heaven forbid, any of us are on trial for murder or something, or we're testifying on behalf of a friend, and there's something that we don't want to say in court that would incriminate us or put us in a position. Is that going to make us look suspicious? Is there anything that people need of to know Of course it's going to make you look suspicious, but, suspicious. but in a, a criminal court, your refusal to testify should not be held against you. Against you. It's their job to prove that evidence against you. So if the police officer asks you how, many, how much have you had to drink tonight after they've stopped you, you might need to be quiet and just let it go rather than this conversation because anything that you say will it's an be misconstrued, be the, twisted, be yes. misused against you in a court of law. But when you got somebody in power like this who's holding that, either get them out of office and investigate them or let them answer truthfully what's going on. Well, it was really interesting to watch because you had a lot of representatives, Democrat and Republican, very visibly angry that she was taking the fifth and not answering any of their questions. They want to get to the bottom of this. It's clear to them that she's hiding something or that the IRS is hiding something. Oh, there, well, there's no question that there's been some criminal activity done. So somebody has got criminal activity, whether it's her or somebody up the line. It probably goes a lot further up. You know, I'm not really believing any of this fame, okay. you know, outrage. Thank you so much, Jay. We appreciate it. We'll continue to follow Thanks. that story. And if you have any legal questions, you can get them answered right here on the air. You can send it to It's The Law at 41NBC.com. Jay Davis will answer them. Also, It's The Law Weekend Edition will air on Sunday at 6 p.m.